and it's uh, it's deer season, but it's also the rut for elk. And we're coming up on our first camera that I think put, I put over a wallow in August because it wasn't active yet in August. But we found this little water hole right here. This is the wallow. Looks pretty good. So we're going to get this SD card swapped and go to the other one and uh, keep looking for deer. We don't have much hopes of deer. We only have one buck on camera all summer. A lot of mountain lions. A couple yards. There's one right here and there's one. And they're super easy to shoot. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> and that one's there. And there's another one on the other side of the trail here. Alright, so we're going to try to sneak past them without them flying off. So we got some elk. Yeah, we got pretty close. We're not elk hunting, we're deer hunting. We're actually here to check our elk cameras. There's a group of them right up here. We are back. You can tell it's pitch black out. Just went through the SD cards on the two cameras. A um, lot of activity at the Wallow. We had two raghorn bulls, maybe three. We couldn't tell they were about the same. Barely a four by four with a little nub on one. Cows, a moose, bull moose. I've got my, my, my highway camera, I call it my intersection highway camera, where I've got hundreds and hundreds of elk throughout the summer, and I'm, uh, maybe five or six over the last 25 days. But what I do have a lot of is hunters, an insane amount of hunters in, in this area. And people that uh, live up here uh, say that there's about five times as many hunters this year as in years past. Uh, we've had issues with these forest fires. So last year, there was no archery season here, no muzzleloader, no second rifle. Third rifle, the second day of the season, is the first time that this was open. That's when we came. Uh, so they had no pressure. There's still a closure big section of this whole region without getting into too many details is still closed due to last year's fire we don't not not sure why but they've been those hunters uh, have been displaced and they are now here so it's kind of like doubled up so we're going home tonight and we're supposed to come back Wednesday Sunday night and coming back Wednesday we don't have a plan um, none of the cameras showed a buck deer we have two does and two fawns. That's it, over and over and over. Two does, two fawns. Uh, we did not see our mountain lion. We had the mountain lion all throughout the summer. Had bobcat, he showed up again. Uh, bull moose, which wasn't here earlier in the summer. But uh, no big bulls at all, just barely legal, four by fours. We've got three of those on camera in this section. Um, so we're not not real sure what to do uh, for the rest of the season. We still have the cameras out there uh, that will tell more of a story uh, once uh, archery season's all over with. Uh, we'll probably come back in October to check those. But we're uh, we're going to try to get out a different way. I may have to take my antenna down in order to fit uh, out to a to the way home but uh, that that's all for now goodbye hey it's a hot windy day we're starting the second phase of our deer hunt we just got to the reservoir this is where i camped that one night i got in here after dark and the water level was right here and look how low it is this is nuts that's what we're doing is we wanted to make a beeline to the water you can see how long the shadow is it's getting late and see if we see tracks in the mud 
Man, this is weird. So I saw this fence way out in the uh, in the river, and I'm like, why is that fence way out in the river? And there's grass growing here. A really nice grass growing here. So we got some tracks over there. We're not sure if that was a dog that or what that crossed. But we know we have seen deer tracks. So now we are uh, going to try to get high to a vantage point and just watch things tonight. stretch to find them. They're way, way out there. There's the truck tracks. And they're somewhere in there. there. Not enough light to focus. There's another one. Still watching these does. That's nine deer, nine does and fawns that we saw, which is good. But I'm not seeing anything. But it's uh, what time is it? 15 minutes past sunset. You see the moon's already up there. Up there. Head back to the truck, have a powwow, and see where we go from here. We had this idea to go to the burn area of one of the bigger fires last year. This is closed to motorized vehicles, but there's just tons of roads. Just dirt roads, jeep trails, forest service roads that you can ride a bike down or a horse. We're not sure the condition of the roads. They could have trees down everywhere. Um, I like hunting here because if you're in the forest, you know, you're just chasing your tail. You don't know what to, where to go. At least we, we saw some deer way the heck over there. We got deer over here. No bucks. But uh, we don't, we're not sure where we're going to sleep tonight either. So we got to get that figured out. Talk to you later. Goodbye. So this is our camp set up. He's got his tent on the back of his mini truck. Uh, I'll be in there. Got the bike set up outside, chairs, two tables, heating up dinner. Taking a little while, I'm trying not to burn it. We need a microwave, a microwave right there in the in the window. But uh yeah, someone's sleeping tonight. Pretty comfy, right next to my chainsaw, air compressor, water. 
we're spending the night here and we're gonna start hunting right from the parking lot uh, as soon as we wake up